Hi everyone, this is gpfaglobal.com.ng. Um, today we are going to be talking about um, hot selling product that you can sell online for your e-commerce and dropshipping. And before we go on with this video, we want to appeal to you, if you are watching our YouTube channel for the first time, or you are a repeat washer, and you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do so um, by encouraging us click on the subscription button and also click on the notification icon so that when we upload subsequent videos, you'll be able to watch them. Um, you can see this content here. We are not a creator of this website. Um, we created cloudways.com. We created them for this uh, content. But I stumbled upon it and uh, the content is very rich. So I decided to bring it to my audience. Uh, because most times a lot of people that are, uh, are selling online, the small importers, they find it difficult to get a hot selling product. So this, the, this guy put together 50 top uh, trending products, which is hot selling product. Um, I want to quickly show you the, his list and other things about this uh, content is a very quality content you can even visit his website if you um if you want to see the detail of everything um it, the video is just all about how selling product to sell online that is what the video is all about so let me quickly scroll down for you to see um the list we don't have the luxury of time to keep reading or the write up the blog itself. So I will go to the number one. He said a portable blender. Everybody knows how hot this product is. A lot of people are buying this product online. Nail polish, uh, peel off mask, wireless phone chargers, face shield, phone lenses, um, inflatable uh, pet collars, Eye shadow stamps, a strapless uh, backless bra, child wrist leash, front facing baby car carrier, car phone holder. Uh, the list is endless, about 50 of them. Home security IP camera, Wi Fi repeater, laptop accessories, um, a posture corrector. Electric soldering iron gun, a kitchen and dining room furniture, by main earrings, manicure, milling drill bit, flexible garden horse, one piece swimsuit, fly fishing quick knot tool, a breathable mesh running shoes, waterproof eyebrow liner non-contact infrared thermometer, cat massage comb, portable electric iron hair brush, summer product, balls games, home ice cream makers, beach towels, baby kids water play mat, socket scarves, winter coats, Number 35 is shoe dryer, touch screen gloves, waterproof pants, beer cloth, hiking backpacks, minim minimalist wallet, waterproof shoe cover, a hooded raincoat, cable jumpers, blush blanket, gillette jacket, portable car vacuum, baby swings, Matcha tea, eyebrow razor, seat cushions, phone tripod, portable solar panels. This is 52 list that the creator of this content gave here. But one thing I want to let you understand here is that you understand how selling product varies from country to country, if you will agree with me. There are some products that are hot in US, they are not hot down here in Africa. Some products are hot in India, 
they are not hot in the US. So it varies from countries to countries. So from this list here, there are a lot of products here that when you look at it critically, you can you will understand that it is a hot product all over the world. Let me come back to number one. Like this number one portable blender here. It is a hot product everywhere. These phone uh, lenses, it uh, is a hot product everywhere. These inflatable pet collars, is a hot product everywhere. But there are some hot products here in Africa that are not listed here. And I can tell you categorically that those products are hot indeed. I have those products and I want to use two as an example. A lot of people do not understand that power bank is a hot product. Power bank is a hot product in the sense that we have a lot of power outage in this country, in, in Africa. A lot of challenges with uh, power supply in Africa. So every now and then you see our phone batteries running flat in no time, even when you are at the point that you needed it most. So power bank is a hot product. I could remember, like I could remember two years ago, I was selling power banks. In two days, I can get order for power bank for like 10 orders. Some days, even in a day, I can get like 10 orders but the constraint I had then was that the delivery company was messing me up. I was using the wrong delivery company. Just imagine you, you, ha you have successfully convinced a customer to buy a product and a customer has placed order, is waiting for order. The delivery company does not deliver your order for like three days. And at the end of the day, when your product gets to the customer, the customer will now say no. I am not buying again. I expected this thing to be uh, been delivered three days ago, but you are just bringing it today. So that is a constraint I had then. The second challenge was that some of these power banks, they will tell you a 10,000 mAh milliamp per hour. But the reality is that the capacity might not be up to 10,000 milliamp per hour. They might tell you a 5,000 milliamp per hour at the end of the day, the capacity is just 2,500 milliamp per hour. But that is what is discouraging a lot of people from buying power banks. But if you can get a quality power bank at affordable price, when I say quality power bank, if you say it is 10,000 mAh, let your 10,000 mAh be 10,000 mAh. But when you tell a customer that um, my power bank is uh, 5,000 mAh, and it cannot charge a phone that has that the battery capacity is just uh, 2,500 mAh. It cannot charge up to two phones. It simply the person will be disappointed. You will start feeling that you have uh, succeeded in uh, in deceiving him. So that is a constraint. But if you can get a power bank that is reliable, a sincere power bank, can you put out your advertisement the way you ought to put your advertisement online? It is a, it, I'm telling you, it's a hot product to the core. Power bank. That is one. The second one is smart wrist, wrist watch. A lot of people are crazy about smart wrist watch right now. People are so crazy about it. Nobody wants to use a phone, a, a wrist watch rather, that is not smart. A lot of people want to use, so people even want to use a wrist watch that they can put their SIM. So the question I keep asking people is that, what's the point of having a phone and still want to use a, a wristwatch that you can put your SIM card? Why would you want to, do, want to do that? You have a phone where your SIM card is. All you need is to have a smartphone that is linked to your phone, a smartwatch that is linked to your phone in such a way that when somebody calls you, or maybe you receive a text message on your phone, You can the watch can notify you. That is all you need from a, a, a smart watch. Another capability, like uh, maybe checking your blood pressure. If you are somebody who is having high blood pressure and you want to uh, be having, getting a notification or the reading of your blood pressure at a particular time, that's all you need from a, 
a smartwatch. Not a smartwatch that you now remove your SIM card from your phone and want to put in a in a watch. I, it doesn't make sense to me. So smartwatch, it's also a hot product, very hot. If you, I could remember when I advertised, that watch was not even a smartwatch. I just put out that advertisement. Is it just an LED wrist, uh, wristwatch? It looks like a smartphone in its design, but it wasn't really. It doesn't have the capability of any smart uh, wristwatch. But when I put out the advertisement, a lot of people bought that particular watch like hot kick. It wasn't a smart watch. It was just a, a watch that looks like a smart watch in design. But people bought it. Even myself, I was surprised. Ah, this watch is not even a smart watch. And people are buying it like hot cake. So it shows you how valuable a smart watch is to people right now. Let me quickly read something <coughs> for you here. This guy, he went further to, if you are confused about what to sell online, then the most common strategy to find, to finding trending product is this. You go to AliExpress, AliExpress flash, flash deals page, and search for your product that are trending. Can you see that? He gave you a clue how you can find a trending product on AliExpress. And when you go to AliExpress and you find it, you can now go ahead and order it. Then you start selling it. So it went down to give a further analysis of the characteristic of a hot product. Look at what it gives a unique or eye catching. The product must be unique and eye catching for it to be a, a hot product. It is a hot product must be difficult to find. Anything that is too cheap, some things are valuable but difficult to find. It's not that it's going to be difficult to find. It must be, it must first of all be valuable first. That is the point. Price is not available. It is not something that you people see the pricing available anywhere like that. If the price is still available, people will understand the detail of it and it won't be a hot, a hot selling product. Then another one is not solid within country. Or oh, not rather, not sold within country rather. Can you hear this? It might be a hot product in another country. So you are the one introducing it to your country. That is why he said not selling within country. It might be selling elsewhere. You know the value of it to some people out there in another country. Then you now bring it to your country to introduce. That is what it means. Available for a healthy markup. On average, drop shipping product range between 10 and 40. This is because people can easily spend this amount online to buy products. This person is speaking specifically for people in USA. So you can use this experience to apply it to your country in Africa or wherever you are that you're watching this video. So this is what I, I wanted to put together to my audience to, to know a little bit about what they can buy that is selling, a whole selling product for your e-commerce and um, drop shipping. That is what is, this video is all about. Let me make a recap. The guy gave a list of 50, 52 items that he considered to be hot selling product. But like I said earlier, it is not all the products that you can apply to your country. You understand your environment, you know what your people want, and you know your market better than what this guy puts out here. So what you need to do is to filter out what and what in this list, on this list, can my people buy. 
That is what you need to do. So my own addition that I told you earlier about power bank and smartwatch. You can use that my advice to test your market. But one thing about smartwatch, you have to cons be considerate with your pricing. If your pricing is too high, you might not be able to sell as much as you ought to. You have to know your pricing very well. When you're buying things online, you have to make your set up, set up your mathematics right. You have to calculate your direct cost and indirect cost. So that when you're giving your pricing, your pricing may be in between. Let it not be too high, let it not be too low. Because if your price is too is too low, people might consider it to be a, a, a fake product that is not original. That is the mentality of a, a consumers. Well, but your price is too high, they will also consider that you are too expensive that they can't patronize you. These are the things that you need to put into consideration when you're selling things online. Hot products, hot selling products for your online e-commerce and drop shipping. That is what I bring to you this afternoon. Like I appealed to you earlier, if you want to encourage us, and if you're watching my video for the first time, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click on the notification bell so that when we upload subsequent videos, you can get notified and get our, our videos handy. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate.